So we left off at the Supermoto race in Belgium. I had an awesome weekend of racing, and I was even able to walk out of there with a the podium. After Matei, I decided to travel through Europe. Eventually, I made it to the top of this mountain, and this is the story of how I got there. After the race in Belgium, I went to Berlin, met up with my old teammate Stefan Nebel. We hung out for the day, went and picked up his KTM Expo. We cruised around the city and checked out the sights. Then we loaded up Stefan's van, traveled down to Austria to Matikoffen to take a tour of the KTM headquarters. This is KTM. Oh, wow. Getting bigger and bigger and bigger every second. When we arrived at the factory, they gave us a tour. We got to see the race department. Unfortunately, I didn't get to really video as much as I would have liked to because it is the KTM R&D department and they didn't really want me sharing any of their secrets. From there, we walked over to another department to go pick up a couple of KTM 1190 adventures. We're picking up these bikes and everybody's looking at us like, yeah, you're going well? Oh, okay. I've never ridden a motorcycle in the winter, but you know, like from what I've learned, it's always better to have too much than not enough, so. I think I have like five, six, that's enough clothes. Anyway, that's why it's called an adventure, right? And uh, here we go. Our plan was to ride to Lermos to visit Neville's sponsor, who owns a resort. We leave KTM and head out on a 240 kilometer ride across two mountains through the Austrian countryside to the mountain town of Lermos. We arrived at night and were treated to quite a surprise. More like the door. Yeah. They just checked us into the 007 room. James Bond style. Style. Yeah. And it is unbelievable. Neville's sponsor, Klaus, owns this resort. He has the best sponsor in the world, I'm pretty sure. With hot cabins. Saunas in the room. The 007 room that they checked us into has a garage attached to it. And the next morning, we were treated to an even more amazing surprise. How long can we stay? <laughs> the whole live. <laughs> so we got lunch with Klaus, and it turns out that he not only owns this resort, but the entire mountain behind the resort. He invited us to go ride trials bikes up to the top of the mountain. Klaus is a cool dude. Yeah, he is. He's got it figured out. We need to, we need to jump on the program with him. <laughs> oh, very nice. The mountain in the summertime is used for downhill mountain biking, so there's trails all up and down it. You're definitely not allowed to ride motorcycles on it, but since Klaus owns this mountain, uh, we took the downhill runs and went up it on the bikes. We went on the ski hills. We got to play around in the snow. Just kind of goof around on this massive mountain. got to the top, it's, it's breathtaking up there. You can just see mountains as far as the eye can see. Well, I, I, I think we're riding where no one else has rode before. I'm um, pretty sure, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Something, they're not here for fun. Yeah. <laughs> you know what he said? Uh, Stop it, we are not here for fun. <laughs> Fuck! Fuck! Uh, that one is broken. Thank you. 
Time to set up. Getting geared up. We're leaving the Moore Life Resort. It's been really cool, really fun. But I fled back on Monday, so we'll make the trek back to uh, Madigotham and to KTM headquarters and drop these motorcycles off. And uh, yeah, it's been good. I honestly wish I could do this stuff all the time. It's trips like these that remind me why I ride. Racing has showed me the world, basically. I'm fortunate for that, and I always try to take advantage of that. Anytime I get an opportunity to travel, you know, try to take the culture in as much as possible. We rode back to the KTM headquarters to return our bikes. We made it back to Maddie Goffin. Bikes are safe. We made it in one piece. And now we have what a six hour drive to Berlin. Oh yeah. <laughs> in a car, which is boring and not fun. On a highway. Alright, well, this is it. Thanks KTM.